local news. So today in the kitchen, we're talking something very unique and fun for your favorite four-legged friend. We're talking gourmet dog food, people. And that's why Chef Christian is here with us this morning to show us some of his fabulous inventions. And we're, it's called mutt loaf, right? That's right. We're going to be making mutt loaf for our four-legged friends. Because you know what? They deserve really good food, too. They do. Okay. They really do. Okay, what do we, how do we begin? Okay, this is really easy. Cooking for a dog is really just like cooking for a person. <laughs> uh, or at least it should be. I mean, they deserve to have really good food. Everything we have here is all natural and organic. Okay. okay. We, so we have some ground beef. Uh, we have some rice, some brown rice. Uh, we have some carrots, kale, garlic. These are all the things that your dog needs to be really nice and healthy. Okay. <laughs> Because when you buy regular dog food, I mean, you're getting something that's really actually marketed to humans. You know, dogs don't care whether it's red or blue or shaped like a little bone or you can yeah. smell it across the house. And you're not really sure what's in it all the time. No, and you got to think, you know, they probably want to spend as little money as possible manufacturing this stuff. Right, So you never right. really know what's in it. Okay, so this way you're putting something really healthy into your dog and you're getting something really healthy out of it. And it here. even, it smells, I have to say, it smells a lot better than a lot of dog foods you that I smell. This, everything here you can actually eat. It's all human yeah. grade food. Okay. And um, so this is my personal favorite for dogs. It's my go to meal. It's mutt loaf. And uh, as I said, dogs love it. Okay. okay. Now, I don't know if you know this, but dogs love beer. I did not know Okay, that. dogs are like frat boys. They love beer and meatloaf. <laughs> but this is non-alcoholic beer. This is non-alcoholic beer. You shouldn't give your dog actual beer. That's right. This way your dog can drive you home. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to mix that, put this into a pan. Okay. And you would bake it just like a regular meatloaf. Oh my You know, gosh. 375 for about 40 minutes or so. And then you end up with all this stuff that you can make out yeah. of this mutt loaf recipe. Show and us let me give you a little, a little here. tour here. So, um... Right over here, we have the uh, pasta carbonara for dogs. Okay, nice. So I did not know dogs could eat pasta, but I guess um, they can. Larger dogs can eat pasta. Okay. And if they have any sort of gluten allergy, you can actually make that with brown rice pasta. All right. Okay. Um, here nice. we have the mutt loaf. That This is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. You can chop it up, put it on a plate uh -huh. of kale. It looks good. Okay. And if you want to have <laughs> a little really fun, good. let's say your dog's being really good or he's having a birthday or whatever, um, <laughs> these are... <laughs> You know, some people, you know, they treat their dogs like children. Oh, absolutely. Okay, and these are little doggy donuts, okay, made so of the mutt cute. loaf. So um, What is that sprinkled on top? It's uh, organic bacon bits, okay. and then we have peanut butter with teriyaki sauce mixed into it. Wow. You know, dogs, dogs love certain things, and peanut butter and bacon is one of them. Okay. That's for a good doggy. That's right. And that over is... here we have some mutt muffins for your dog's birthday. Oh, with little peas on top. Yeah, so, you know, dogs love this. It's made of the mutt loaf, just shaped into a little muffin. You bake it in a muffin pan. So, you know what? Why don't we actually get a dog out here to taste this yep, stuff? Yep, I think so we should. see how nice it is. Our pet of the week is here, Tina, and she is going to taste test the mutt loaf for us. We're going to see what she thinks. Hey, Tina. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. She's loving it. She clearly likes it. Oh. Well, there you go. Yeah, there you go. It's puppy tested. It's ready to go. Puppy tested and approved by Tina, our pet of the week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you go. Um, awesome. Very creative, and your dog will love you. And Yeah. Uh, and if you want to try these recipes out for yourself, you can visit my website at tampabayshef.com. And uh, if you want these delivered to your house, you can go to mealsfordogs.com. All right. Thank you so much, Chef Christian. Thank you for having me.